Hello, Gemini. I missed you guys, Gemini. I hope you're doing wonderful wherever you are. Gemini, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, we're going to ask what's coming towards you, Gemini, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. <clears throat> huh. Wow. <clears throat> this is you being patient with your soulmate relationship. Yeah. So it looks like you're going to have an opportunity for reconciliation after a breakup or shakeup of some sort. Let's see. First, we're going to ask what's coming towards you, Gemini. What you'll be dealing with facing and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever this you're thinking of, concentrating on while watching this video whether you're currently in contact with them or not. First, we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally. What's on their mind? What are they thinking, feeling at this time? Especially in relation to you, Gemini. Universe, please step in. Show very clear and important messages for the sign of Gemini. For Gemini's highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards Gemini? What will Gemini be dealing with, facing in their life? And how is Gemini currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming towards Gemini? And how is Gemini currently doing on their soulmate journey, universe? This one wants to come out very strongly as extra message. Wow, this is you wanting so badly to communicate, but you're holding back right now. You're not reaching out. You feel a great need to clear the air with your soulmate, but you're holding back. For some reason you're not trusting the situation there has been silent treatment for a while between you two yeah look at this this is actually you being concerned that they may not receive you in a positive way if you initiate this communication that you feel uh, is very important to happen between you two and yes this communication is very important between you two but you kind of worried that they may not want to communicate or listen to you look how guarded you are you're extremely guarded emotionally very guarded yeah you love this person a lot though you love this person deeply but you're very disappointed mm. yeah you see this is you on hold not taking action trying to put them Put yourself in their shoes, so to speak, trying to figure out what it is they possibly thinking, feeling, wondering, planning uh, in regards to you. Universe, please show us. This is beautiful, though. The best card in the whole deck. Uh, the sun card. Something positive uh, coming your way, Gemini. Universe, please show us what's coming towards Gemini and how is Gemini currently doing on their soulmate journey yeah so this is you wanting to put work into this yeah you love this person deeply yeah you do you love this person deeply you, even though you feel disappointment yeah something serious happened there was some kind of uh betrayal this this means betrayal and it's showing up twice not once you see seven of swords seven of swords some kind of uh betrayal happened in this connection Huh, this is serious. Yeah, I see. Again, just like we saw minutes ago before we started reading with the bigger tarot deck, we saw Knight of Pentacles, and here we see Knight of Pentacles again. This person wants to re enter your life. But your back is turned towards them. Yeah, you've been waiting to see what they do. Yeah, unexpected communication showing up here. So you guys will have an opportunity to communicate and make amends with each other. Yeah, you view yourself as single, available. So you definitely are not together right now. This is you, single, attractive, available. This is you, uh, very independent, strong will, taking care of yourself. Yeah, this person is preparing for communication with you. But you also feel a great need to communicate with them. Both of you are feeling it. So one of you is going to be brave enough to initiate this very important communication between you two. 
Yeah, both of you have been waiting. You've been waiting on them. They've been waiting on you. You see, you both want to communicate and neither one of you is reaching out, but you both equally want to communicate with each other. Um, hmm. Let's see. And then we're going to ask about your person. Universe, please show us what's coming towards Gemini and how is Gemini currently doing on the soulmate journey? Yeah, I see. You view yourself as single, available. But it looks like you're putting your life on hold. You're not really fully making yourself available out there in the dating world, so to speak. Like you still feel, even though you feel alone in this connection, like you're not with them, you, you're not really going out there to uh, meet new people. You're not looking for new relationship with somebody else. This is you feel feeling single in this connection, but still holding on. Yeah, you see, that's because you love this person deeply. That's why. So you love this person deeply. That's undeniable. You have a lot of love for them. This is you um, um, feeling very deep emotional and spiritual connection. Oh, what happened? Yeah, you want new beginning with this person. This is you feeling heartbroken, sad, regretful, thinking about what could have been dwelling on the past, feeling like this is lost for good. This is you very sad, going through a lot of emotional roller coasters in this connection. I'm so sorry, Gemini, you're going through so much. Let's see what's going on with your soulmate. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Gemini. For Gemini's highest good, please. Universe, the soulmate of Gemini, the soulmate of Gemini, what is going on currently with the soulmate of Gemini? And how is the soulmate of Gemini currently relating to Gemini, especially emotionally? And what's on soulmate's mind at this time? Oh, this one is looking at me very strongly as extra message. Very important. See, they've been waiting. They've been analyzing, pondering, thinking making an assessment, waiting, waiting to see what you're going to do, if you're going to do anything. They've been waiting on you, Gemini. They really want to manifest something. They're not letting you go. Yeah, you see, they want to uh, correct things. Whatever mistakes were made, errors were made in this connection, they want to uh, correct this. Yeah, they're waiting patiently. This is them trying to heal. Looks like it's not over because here we have three major Arcana Life Force cards. Four, my goodness. This is them feeling connection with you like with no other. This person wants to reunite with you. Yeah, they do. They want to reunite with you. You guys have spent many lifetimes together. So this clearly shows without a doubt the star and justice that you two will see each other again future lifetimes. Yeah. My goodness, this is heavy. Universe, please show us. A lot of you are dealing, just looking at major arcanas alone, life force cards. A lot of you are dealing with um, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Libra, Virgo, Gemini. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Gemini. But they could be any sign. Universe, the soulmate of Gemini, and how is the soulmate of Gemini currently relating to Gemini, especially emotionally at this time? See, this is them quiet, pondering, thinking, analyzing, silent treatments between you two. A lot of you are dealing with the Virgo. You see, look at this. This is them. I don't like this, though. Something serious happened between you two. Betrayal is showing up again. Um, hmm. Something serious happened. Whether you feel betrayed or they feel betrayed or you both feel betrayed in this connection. Like something was mishandled greatly in this situation. Um, hmm. Yeah, this person is trying to figure out what to do, how to do this, how to handle this. Yeah, you see, the tower moment happened. You two broke up. Um, yeah, there was something toxic. Something was heading in the wrong direction, and the tower moment had to happen uh, to steer you away from 
whatever was wrong. Yeah, uh, we all have tower moments. Don't feel isolated, uh, Gemini. We all have tower moments. Uh, life is full of tower moments, unfortunately, but that's how we learn, grow through mistakes, errors. Yeah, that's how we grow and learn. This person wants to take a leap of faith. Yeah, to take action. Yeah, this person wants to take a leap of faith. They're going through a lot of internal changes, like spiritual awakening, a spiritual rebirth. A lot of you are also dealing with Scorpio. They love you a lot. Yeah, so they're kind of surprised how deep this connection emotionally is still for them. Yeah, it, it's still very deep for them. They love you deeply, not able to release you. They're going through major changes in their life. Look at all these major arcanas. They're going through major changes, rebirth, regeneration, realizing how deeply they love you, Gemini. This person loves you deeply. This is heavy duty connection. Let's see, universe, please show us what's going on currently with the summit of Gemini. Yeah, I see. Unfinished business between you two. The justice scales are unbalanced. This person is hoping to be back in your life. Uh, unfinished business between you two. This person wants to correct things, work on things. Yeah. They're showing up like their ego is hurt. Their ego is bruised. Uh, like they're hiding their emotions right now. They don't want to show how deeply emotionally affected they are. Heartbroken, sad. Yeah, what's happening again and again and again and again? Betrayal is showing up here. So something serious happened in this connection that broke you two up. Something was greatly mishandled. Huh. This person wants to correct things, make things right. Yeah, again... The star card. This is them praying, hoping, wishing to reunite with you. Hmm. Wow, this is heavy. Some of you may have gone through divorce or, or separation, legal separation. For those of you that went through divorce with this person or legal separation, it shows that this person regrets it. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it happened in the heat of a moment when the two of you were angry and they regret it now because they love you deeply. Hmm. Gemini, we're going to go into your extended reading and ask about your soulmate's true long-term intentions and plans for you. Then we're going to ask what they're hiding from you at this time, what they have up their sleeve. Whether they're hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, whether it's new soulmates entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know for your highest good, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Gemini, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and i'll see you there love you guys